Did you say V12s have um, MOSFET problems? What? No, I can't hear you. Sorry, too much wind noise. Hey, what's up? Duff here. Yes, I'm riding my V12. Um, I haven't done a conventional riding video in a long time, right? Um, weather, weather related, uh, real life related, but here we are. It's a Sunday. It's nice outside. It's in the like low 70s, I believe, right now. And we're going to take the V12 out for something a little bit different. Something I haven't done on the V12 yet, and that is a high-speed test. I'm not kidding. What's that? You said the MOSFETs have been failing on the V12s? Eh. It really is pretty outside right now. Even though the air temperature is on the low side, it's, um, it's, the sun feels very, very warm. So even though technically it feels like it's, uh, the air temperature is in the low 70s, the skin temperature feels much better than that. So should be good. So like I said, yeah, we're doing a, uh, I'm gonna do a speed test on this thing. I've never tried to, my, my mental goal is to touch 40 miles an hour for whatever reason, I don't. I haven't seen a lot of people do that on the V12, so I figure I'll try it. Got my 360 camera here. I got my uh, GoPro 9 in my pocket. Just charge the wheel to a hundred percent. I am obviously geared up in my high-speed gear that I normally wear, and we're going to go down to uh, 39th Street, which, from my past experience, is the uh, the flattest street uh, in this area or at least the best street for me to do higher speed runs because I've had problems with some of these side streets, they have waves in them. And, and when you hit those waves going fast, it's a bad time. Uh, it, it feels uh, quite dangerous because I've done high speed runs obviously on my Sherman before. So let's see how this works out. And afterwards we'll just cruise around a little bit and talk about shit. You know, cause some, some people just like when I talk about shit. For my documentation, I am running Darkness Bot. I have it connected to my Apple Watch right now so I can see my speed there. And um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, try to remember to record the screen on my iPhone so I can kind of have the speed uh, alongside with the run. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so just cruising over here, the top speed I showed in Darkness Bot was I already hit 33 miles an hour and I wasn't trying. so. We'll see. I think the fastest they've ever recorded on the B12 is 36 maybe. So I'm not sure if it'll feel much different. Another four or five miles an hour, but we're gonna find out. I have my GoPro 9 down by roadside right behind me. So here we go. We'll see what we get. Apple Watch. All right. Unfortunately, the watch resets um, or blanks out and it goes into screensaver mode pretty damn quick. I wish I could figure out a way to disable that temporarily. I'm sure there is a way. And we got. Very expensive BMWs driving down these side streets for whatever reason. All right, so let's see what Darkness Bot showed that I hit there. All right. Okay, 38.3. That's kind of what I saw on my on my wrist. And it keeps flipping screens when I'm trying to put it into my pocket. Stay there. Day. All right. All right, we're going to do it again. There's got to be a way to keep this. All right, I don't know. It feels fast. I mean, when, when you're going that fast on an EUC, at least for me, I mean, it just, you know, you got tons of wind noise. It, it feels, uh, for some reason, you know, 32, 33, I feel comfortable cruising. When I'm getting into the upper 30s, uh, that comfort level disappears. So here we go. Did you say V12s have um, MOSFET problems? What? No, I can't hear you. Sorry, too much wind noise. 
All right, here we go. All right. It's interesting. Um, I remember at least with the initial V12s, people saying that they had a hard time because the posted top speed on this is supposed to be 70 kilometers an hour, which is like 43, right? 43 and a half miles an hour. I remember people saying that they had a hard time getting up there. That time, I believe I was just under 40. 39.7. So I am real freaking close. So we're gonna give it one more push here and maybe the third time's a charm. I'm not trying to, to hit 43, but, but 40 would be okay. I haven't seen a lot of people posting 40 mile, an hour, 40 mile an hour runs on the V12. I heard people talking about it. I haven't heard a lot of people actually uh, documenting it, and everybody knows if it's not on video, it didn't happen. Oh, we got the stupid Mercedes behind me again. All right, here we go. This road definitely is nice and smooth for this, at least. All right, there we go. I saw a four in the first number. I definitely saw a four. V12 feels rock steady, man, at that speed. 16 inch wheel, rock steady at 40 miles an hour. I dare say it feels as steady as the Sherman. 40.5 miles an hour. We have, this is the second wheel I've ever crossed 40 miles an hour in my riding experience. The only other one has been the Sherman. We're still recording? Yes, we are. All right. Yeah, this Mercedes is like driving around looking at uh, land signs, land for sale signs. Probably looking for something to add to their, uh, their portfolio. All right, this is going to be my last run. Here we go. Let's see if we can um, get a little closer to that 70 mile or 70 kilometer an hour posted top speed. Yep. There we go. All right. We're knocking on the door there. Now, what I was, did I finish that thought? I don't think I finished that thought. What I was saying was people supposedly had a hard time getting the wheel up to that top speed. Like I think they were talking about they were getting either pushback or it was beeping like crazy. The, the wheel had, well, I probably wouldn't hear it if it did, but I didn't hear any sort of uh, protesting coming from the wheel at being right near the speed limit. So, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Pretty sure we hit, we hit 41 that time. I believe. 41.3 miles an hour. Not too shabby for the V12. What's that, you said MOSFETs fail on this? Oh shit, I wish I would've known. I wouldn't have tried that. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's stop my screen recording. Let's stop the GoPro 9. All right, it didn't lock up on me. That's nice. It's always appreciated when the GoPro 9 doesn't lock up. And now we can relax. Let's relax and enjoy. Let's enjoy the ride. Uh, in a more conventional fashion. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go over to the new park. I was actually just there this morning with Elsa. Um, it's getting uh, more and more use. There was uh, some soccer games going on. There were tons of families in the, the playground area. So I would say about three quarters of it is now open. So I can't wait till everything is open, but uh, yeah, it's getting there. Or maybe I should, uh, I should, well, whatever. So my last, my last video, conventional video, was my live stream, really, that was last week. And on there I talked about a couple things, and some people don't want to hang in there for three to four hour live streams to find out information. Uh, one of the things they talked about on there is I am hopeful that my Kingsong S20 is one of those first 40 that eWheels is getting. I, I ordered it in the first day very early, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will be getting one of those early S20s. Even so, it probably won't be. In, it probably wouldn't be in my hands until early March. But hey, it's going to be a lot sooner than a lot of people are, are going to get their wheels since production is shut down for Chinese New Year, and you know, shipping takes forever. So, hoping to get the S20 soon. I did see um, Yuko and Law live stream regarding the S20. 
I would say almost everything I, I saw so far I liked. It, it, it looks pretty awesome. The only negative that I saw so far is someone posted a, a picture of the, uh, the front bumper uh, corner being broken off, I guess. I think it's the Yuko wheel this happened to. Like someone dropped it and the way it landed, it hit that bumper and it, it broke the corner of that bumper and it, that made it clear that that bumper is plastic, which I thought was somewhat surprising that they didn't go with like a hard rubber serve, um, substance similar to what's on the V12. You know, on the front and the back, it has this real dense hard rubber to uh, protect it in that situation. So I'm, I'm surprised that it's plastic, um, but I won't be surprised when uh, uh, 3D printed TPU flexible covers uh, come out for the S20 to minimize the minimize the um, chance of that happening in the future so but so far man everything I've seen about the S20 I like I really like very excited to get mine saw more uh, you know master they're, they're really pushing the master videos and stuff the Bagode master uh, it'll be interesting to see when that comes out in relation to the S20 spec wise the master specs are great uh, unfortunately it's a Bagode wheel <laughs> we'll see how it actually is in the real world but uh, Spec-wise, I know like the uh, New York <coughs> City riders are chomping at the bit because uh, they all care about power and range and speed. And at least on paper, the master delivers in those areas. So it's going to be an interesting uh, next few months for sure. There's going to be lots of interesting uh, wheels to uh, be considering over the next few months or in 2022 in general. So I've been uh, coming here to the new park with Elsa quite a bit. I think I mentioned that. And it's just it's basically to get her some exercise, always trying to get her less nervous um, around other people and animals. And that's, that's been a lifelong thing for her. She's always is just, she's so easily freaked out. And this morning it was bad because there's a lot of people here and she was just constantly like pulling, pulling to, you know, get away from whatever she thought was a threat. And uh, it was uh, it was not a great experience. So my hope is rep with repetition will become will uh, come uh, more familiarity, less fear. We'll see how that works out in practice. So here you go. You can see um, maybe from up there you can see the uh, the little small castle. That's the playground. And like I said, there was a bunch of bunch of families there this morning. And you can see lots of cars in the lot. There was. Um, at least two soccer games going on. There were some people practicing softball, doing like batting practice for softball. And it looks like that is still continuing right now. They have the uh, basketball courts up, got the nets up, and look, you ever seen um, pickleball? Here it is, pickleball courts. And conventional tennis courts. So cool. So, so cool. Yeah, I feel so fortunate to have this thing like literally a mile away from me. Very, very lucky. And when this thing gets, gets up and going, I will be spending a lot of time here doing whatever. Who knows? Oh, you know, another thing that I haven't mentioned, 
because I don't think I've done a, a, a video like this since I started doing it. Um, I remember um, a video like a month and a half ago. I, I was riding through the school area, it was right around the holidays, I think, and I said, "Oh man, here's where I used to run. I used to run around, run around the track." And uh, I actually have started, or well, I, I started to try to run again. Uh, this past week was the third week in a row that I went to the track and ran after work. I've been doing it on a Wednesday night. I've been doing very short distance, only a mile, just to see how my body would react. First two weeks, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, it was sore, but I, I was okay, no, no injury. Uh, this last week, it wasn't so good. I wound up um, afterwards getting some pretty severe soreness in my left knee, which is my, my good knee, my knee that has never been operated on. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, it's, it's, the pain has lessened since then, but um, this, this, there's still soreness in there. So until that goes away, I, I, uh, I can't try again. It would just be stupid to try to run on it if the knee is already hurting. So we'll see how long it lasts. You know, it, it has, even though it was a very short distance, it felt good just to be out there, you know? And I am still doing my road biking on Friday nights as well. So trying to get myself out there trying to uh, do things to um, give me other things in my life to focus on. That's, that's really what you got to do. You can see on the wheel, the wheel agrees. Top speed on that ride, 42 miles an hour. Obviously the fastest I've ever gone on a 16 inch wheel. And the second fastest I've ever gone in any wheel. So, All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, feels good to go out and make a somewhat conventional video. It's been a while. Yeah, if you found this video interesting, my high-speed test. I never did a high-speed test in the V12. Now I can check that off the list. If you found the video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. And if you're not subscribing, hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Uh, there's also membership on my channel. You can join the channel for uh, as little as... Uh, I think, one, yeah, $1.99 a month is, is the cheapest membership fee. For that, you get a number of perks that you will... Uh, be able to investigate if you hit the join button down below. And uh, yeah, and also if you are looking for a stand for your EUC, I, I never mentioned the, the site very much, but I should. Um, EUCarmy.com. I have adjustable stands. I have the new X stand, the No Tool X stand. I, I have uh, like three or four different models there that should fit uh, your needs, whatever they might be. Well, anyways, guys, hope you had a great weekend. Hey, here I am. Hope you had a great weekend. That's all I have for now. Until next time, stuff ran out. And I hope everything came out okay in the Insta360. I'm always uh, somewhat nervous I had that uh, incident. I'm sure everything will be fine. Elsa! Elsa, where's Elsa? Elsa, we gotta sing over the music so we don't get a copyright strike. Where's Elsa at? Elsa, Elsa, where are you? Elsa, there you are, Elsa, yeah, good girl. Do you see our